Hi, this is Patrick Dean. Thank you for being on the hero's journey with me. And we're in part six of this video series. So oh, let's take a deep breath because we have come a ways together. And if you're just joining or if this is the first one you've listened to, um, great. You can jump in here anywhere along the hero's journey. If you're a companion and you're open and you're curious and you really want to create some extraordinary in your life, you're welcome to join us any time. Okay. So last we left ourselves as the heroes of our own story, we had hacked our way through the jungle and we had come out on a plane and up ahead of us is a beautiful mountain. And at the top of this mountain is a sl slight bit of snow, but it is so gorgeous. And we know in intuitively that at the top of this mountain is the prize that we've been seeking throughout this whole hero's journey. And so now we're on our way up the mountain, but halfway up the mountain, and you're gonna use your imagination for this, halfway up the mountain, there is a great figure that is standing in our way and it is bound and committed to stop us. And this is a battle. We are going to have a battle with this figure, with this great warrior. And um, this, the outcome is not certain. So I wanted to show you something that I have on my desk at, uh, in my office. And this is, the great, this is a symbol of the great warrior that we're going to face. And this is from a temple. And what this represents is the warrior in, that stops us in our life. So this warrior says to us, are you ready to really step forward in your life? Are you ready to come from radical honesty and radical authenticity and radical openness and radical courage? Are you ready? Because in the temple grounds in Asia, where I have done many trainings, this is the figure that says, are you ready to create an extraordinary life? Because you're going to have to battle me to do it. And so what is this battle about? This is the battle of human nature. This is the battle inside ourselves at a very deep and core level. Because what we're going to battle against is the experience we have of comparison with others, of envious, envy and of jealousy and of mistrust and of resentment that goes along with that as we look around at everyone around us and compare ourselves to everyone around us. Now, I don't know how this, re this relates to you personally, but for me, most of my life, how I felt about my progress in life was basically about how I compared to other people. It wasn't that I looked in myself for fulfillment and happiness. It was around my happiness will be based on my material possessions or how I compare to others or the car I drove, the house I lived in, the relationship I had, how did it compare to other people? And that kept me in a constant state of anxiety, a constant state of not feeling enough, a constant state of not being able to measure up. Because in my life, coming from that context, I could always find people that were lesser than me, and I could always find people that I considered more successful, more than me. And in that process, I don't know if you relate to this at all, but in that process, there was a constant state of anxiety. So feeling good always was connected with my performance in relationship to other people. This is the battle I want to challenge you on, challenge you to look at in your life. Now, I think that competition is a great place to challenge ourselves. In competition, I've done plenty 
of sports. And, and I love the competition. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about something much deeper than competition. It's the idea that we feel less than because we don't compare with other people. Now, my wonderful wife, Nancy, it reminds me all, all the time, don't compare how you feel on the inside to what other people are projecting on the outside because you will never really know. So now take a look in our lives. Is, do we have the experience going on that there is a lack out there, that there's a scarcity, that if we don't get our part of it, that we're, uh, we're going to miss out and that we've got to grab it or sometimes push other people out of the way or run over the top of other people, or not see them as important in our life to our own goals. And so this battle is about allowing the compassionate side of who you are to show up in your life, to be an important part of who you are, and to begin to take a deep breath and really evaluate. Do that right now. Just evaluate. What's important to you in your life? Is fulfillment and satisfaction and peace and love and compassion, are those important to you? Do you feel that you have to do something out there to accomplish something? to feel those experiences right now. And so the great battle on the mountain is the battle between the human nature of scarcity and the human nature of abundance. And those are decisions that you get to make moment by moment by moment. The great battle, sitting in traffic, bumper to bumper traffic because I went down to LA to do a training and here I was caught in this huge bumper to bumper traffic and found myself getting more and more angry, more and more upset, judging, actually judging the people around me and looking at that. How come that guy smokes so much? How come she has so, so many children? As I was inching my way forward, this human nature, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> It probably never happened to you. But I just want to admit honestly that uh, this part of my human nature shows up in so many ways and causes so much havoc in my life. When I went to battle against this stuff, or at least to acknowledge it in my life and the control it had over my life, what happened was I started to land on what was important to me my purpose in life. Was I here to create chaos? Was I here to create drama? Was I here to grab what I could grab? And maybe, look, maybe if I got enough for myself, what I could do is perhaps give a little away and look pretty magnanimous. Or was I here to really leave something on this planet that was important or leave other people feeling great about themselves or to do something in my career and in my life that would uplift our experience with each other. I had an opportunity to sit in a meeting with the Dalai Lama. And at the end of his talk, he said, I'm a simple monk. That my whole purpose on this planet is to create more compassion and to alleviate some suffering. That's his whole purpose and his whole mission. And in the moment I heard that, I realized that could be my mission as well. Why not? Why not choose that rather than this hugely competitive experience that I was creating that had huge ups when I won and he had huge downs when I felt like I wasn't winning. Okay, so that's the challenge and that's the battle on the mountain. So take a deep breath for a moment as you listen to this and say and ask yourself 
What am I willing to let go of to be happy? What belief system do I have about human beings or myself or comparison that I could simply start to discard so I could feel some peace and fulfillment in my life? What do I really need in my life to feel a deep sense of self-worth? Is it all outside of myself? Or can you decide that it's something about you and that's the first decision? Something about you will make the difference between your satisfaction and your fulfillment and living a life of envy or resentment or jealousy or anger and all of that. Because I'll tell you, for the most part, Many people coming into the work or the trainings that we do have an experience of that. Now, they won't show it exactly on the surface because we all want to show that we've turned out. <laughs> but this is, this is one of the greatest battles you can have. And since I have fought this battle and have come out a little bit on the other side, I've noticed one thing, that it's really a lifelong practice, that it's not simply a decision one makes because you're going to find yourself back into all of it over and over. But the great thing about this battle is that you can do it. You can stay in that stuff a shorter and shorter and shorter time and have more and more peace. And so that's the battle on the mountain. It's a decision you make coming up against the very basis of human nature. <laughs> Take a deep breath and prepare now to move through it at whatever level, knowing that, again, it's a lifetime uh, practice. It's a lifetime discipline. It's a lifetime that you're going to find yourself in this. But I think you're going to be a hell of a lot happier and more peaceful when you begin to discard some of this stuff. And this person says, you are now ready to enter the temple. You are now ready for the prize. And so the next part of our hero's journey will be called the prize. We get to open the great trunk and look in what's inside it. All these battles that we've done along the way, all these things we've done along the way, we're going to get to reap the reward now. So, in the next session, number seven, we'll be at the top of the mountain. I'll see you there. <laughs>